ML Sports Take brought to you by Welch & Company Jewelers, Stanley Law Offices, and Burn Dairy. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. The Yankees and Orioles are deadlocked at the top, and one reason why is because both teams the last month plus have been wildly inconsistent. When they get the pitching, they don't get the offense. You know, the Yankees should have blown out Toronto yesterday, but the main worry still for them where I sit is runners in scoring position. They left a million guys on base again, a ton of guys in runners and uh, runners in scoring position. They're just left out there, and they just still can't seem to get that key hit unless it's Judge or Soto. The rest of the lineup, you're kind of praying when they go up there, whether it's Torres or LeMahieu or uh, you know an Anthony Volpe, etc. I know that LeMahieu got the big game winner yesterday, but that's been the situation. And the same can be said for the Baltimore Orioles. If you go look at a lot of their scores, they beat you a 9-5 one game, and then they get shut out the next game. The pitching shows up, then it doesn't. The injury have been hurting them in the starting rotation. I don't think they did enough at the deadline, and I don't think that the Yankees, frankly, did enough at the deadline. I know they brought in Leiter and they brought in Chisholm, but when you have Juan Soto for at least this postseason, you don't know if you have him after this year, and you're Baltimore with a three- to five-year window minimum to win a World Series before you have to lock up all these guys for hundreds of millions of dollars, the Rutschmans and the Hendersons and on and on it goes, don't you go out and get more. I had even entertain the thought of dangling Jackson Holiday just to see if you could get two frontline ridiculous starters to go for it. Maybe a big time starter and a big time bullpen piece, maybe working another team, you know, third and fourth team on a trade, whatever it could take to try to win a World Series. Because frankly, as many of you sports fans know, you just never know when you can win one and you can get back to win another one. We haven't seen a repeat winner in baseball since 2000. The Yankees and Orioles should have gone for it more at the deadline. Both teams playing similar baseball, up and down, rotation, bullpen, and lineup. Splashes here, up and down they go. Both teams win, both teams lose. Both teams win a couple, both teams lose a couple. What does it result in? It results in August 5th, both teams with 49 games left to play deadlocked at the top of the division. ML Sports Take here brought to you by our great friends over at Stumbling Monkey Brewing Company, Elevate Fitness of Syracuse, Brewerton Ace Hardware, and Rosie's Corner. Stop by Rosie's today, grab a meatball bomber, the pastrami on, uh, on rye, I call it, but it's a pastrami Reuben. Delicious. Had that last week. Again, get on over to Rosie's all week. Pizza, wings, sandwiches, and your fish Friday in a few days as well. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.